When's the last time you cut your nails? Before you answer that, no, biting your nails off doesn't exactly count. I'm talking about sitting down with a nail clipper and shortening, filing, and manicuring these puppies, all while avoiding loose pieces flying into your eyeballs. Or maybe you get someone to do the messy work for you. So maybe this part of your hygiene routine is just not that important to you. You're simply too lazy and you can't be bothered. So one day you decide to stop cutting your nails altogether. What would happen if you let those puppies grow and grow and grow? If fingernails grow very slowly, we're talking one centimeter every three months, then we are talking about years without cutting your nails. Is that what you want? Because Brainiacs, in short, it's not pretty. There's bacteria, fungus, and infections involved, not to mention all the inconvenience. I mean, have you tried to pick up a single coin with long nails? But more on that later. In this video, we talk about all things cuticles, from what the heck nails even are to all the health risks that come from growing them out. Nails originate in the nail matrix under the cuticle. The matrix, yes, we are still talking about nails here and not the film, birth skin cells which are transformed into a tough keratin protein. Our fingernails grow because a new cell is formed on the nail matrix. The keratin is pushed forward, creating the best back scratching device known to man. Archaeology and other fancy people with monocles are divided on the exact evolutionary use for fingernails, but it doesn't take a genius to know that we perform essential survival tasks with them, from picking and peeling fruit skins, to cleaning and scratching the scalp, to simply protecting the delicate skin of our hands, it's pretty hard to imagine a life without fingernails. Another nail fun fact, who knew there was such a thing, would be that nails apparently grow faster during the daytime than nighttime. This is because the hand is more active, which increases blood circulation and cell formation. According to this science, your dominant hand, which is more active, also has longer nails. Love biting your nails? It's a bad habit, but you knew that. But did you know it makes your nails actually grow faster? Okay, we're getting sidetracked here. So how long can we go without cutting them? Before we answer that, let's look at the Guinness World Record holder of the longest nails on both hands, Lee Redmond. Redmond began to grow her nails in 1978, and although she planned to cut them off in 2006, she chose to keep her nails after all. But just exactly how long are we talking here? After 30 years, all 10 of her nails averaged about 87 centimeters. Redmond probably would have continued to grow them out if it weren't for a four-car pileup that broke off her nails. She claims she won't grow them long again simply because she's not sure if she still has another 30 years left to grow them. But nevertheless, Redmond remains the world record holder to beat. But if you thought she was impressive, check out Sridhar Chahal, who holds the record for longest nails on a single hand. Yep, Guinness World Records are no joke. His longest nail was his thumbnail, measuring 197.8 centimeters. In fact, his nail was so long, and therefore so heavy, that it disfigured his fingers and eventually led to a loss of function in his entire left hand. If that's not enough, the nail's immense weight caused serious nerve damage that caused deafness in his left ear. If anyone is intrigued by these ridiculously long nails, they are on display at the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in New York City. It's not exactly our upcoming destination, but do with that information what you will. So you want to join Chalal and Redmond in the ranks to never cut your nails again? No problem but you will have to add about 10 steps to your nighttime bed routine. First, make sure you clean your fingernails, especially underneath, with alcohol and a cotton swab every day to rid bacteria or food particles that are stuck under there. You're also gonna wanna get serious about hand washing. No more of this just water stuff. We're talking vigorous 20 second scrubs and foaming soap, no cheating. You bet Redmond and Shalal had disciplined and rigorous routines for their fingernails to ensure healthy growth. So are you ready to make the same commitment? What's that? You're second guessing all of this? Okay, whew. We didn't think this was going to spice up your Tinder profile either. Unfortunately, there are more risks than benefits when it comes to never cutting your nails. Not only can they catch bacterial or fungal infections, long fingernails could also cause food poisoning. That's because tiny particles from your meal last week are likely to catch on to your morning's breakfast, causing a violent rave in your stomach. Not to mention you could seriously nail someone with these nails. Get it? Because your long nails could injure someone? Okay, moving on. Maybe it's time to get reacquainted with your nail cutter brainiacs. We think it's about time to chop those off, you know, to stay infection free. Plus, we bet your sister is annoyed with how loud you are when you text. Not to mention holding a pencil must be difficult by now. It's better this way. Believe us. See you later, brainiacs.